Looking to buy a detached home here in Abbotsford, city in the country? Well, there's a couple of things you want to know and consider before you make the purchase. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top five things you want to know and don't want to do when buying a detached house. Let's get into it right away. Number one, research the local neighborhood. When you're moving to Abbotsford from the lower mainland or relocating from another province, you want to pick the best neighborhood that meets all of your search and criteria. If you're a young family, you might want to live in a neighborhood that's family and kid friendly. The way that you can get that information is through partnering up with a local realtor like myself that has a wealth of knowledge and experience. The second thing you want to consider, how much property crime is in that area. The way that you can pull that information up is through visiting the local website or your local police department. Another way you can get great information is through talking to the local neighbors that live in that area. So when I'm working with buyers that are looking to buy a home in Augustin, McKinley, or the Laburnum area, I always encourage them to spend an afternoon, go visit the local park, or go for a walk around the neighborhood and talk to the locals. When you're talking to the locals, they're going to be very honest about things that they like, dislike, or they'll be upfront and blunt about why you shouldn't buy a home in that area. Number two, avoid buying Buying a home on a main road. When you're buying a detached home, you should never buy a home on the main road for one of two reasons. A, it doesn't appreciate as much as a home located in a cul-de-sac. It's not safe for families with kids or pets. Instead, focus on buying a home in a quiet cul-de-sac, which will be a lot more quiet, peaceful, and you'll have a lot more neighbors with kids that can run around and play safely. Another thing to consider is if you buy a house on a main road is you can change the colors for the paint, the kitchen layout, or anything else that can be renovated in the home, but you can't get rid of the noise level. Or what if you buy a detached home right front of a school or on a main road? Good luck with getting in and out of the driveway of your home. Number three, examine the floor plan. Pay attention to detail here. Look at the floor plan just to see how many bedrooms are on the main floor versus what kind of living space is in the basement. Not only that folks, pay attention to the functionality. If you're a young family with one or two children and you're looking to grow your family, then buying a home that has two bedrooms on the main floor will not make sense to you. Not only that, you wanna be mindful of the resale value. When you buy a well-designed home with the proper floor plan, you can be at peace of mind when you're raising your children or enjoying your living space. When I get a call from potential clients that are looking to sell their home, there's one of two reasons why they're selling their home. A, they live in one of these homes that has two bedrooms on the main floor and they need more living space. Or the second thing is they have a growing family and they need the downstairs rented out to help with their monthly mortgage payments. Number four, don't buy the cheapest home on the market. If a home is listed well below the other homes that are selling in the area, there's probably a good reason. A, the home needs a lot of renovations or there's other things about the property that you may not know. If you do end up getting an accepted offer on one of these homes, one of the things I will encourage you to do is get a home inspection done so you can get a complete photo of what's happening with the exterior, interior, and the foundation of the home. When I am working with people that are looking to buy a detached home, we focus on quality. Not only are we looking at the current value of the home in today's market, but I'm also educating my clients about what homes appreciate in the future with resale value. Number five, don't ignore the long-term financial planning. When you're buying a detached home, there will be other associated costs besides your monthly payment, including your monthly bills, electricity bill, cable, your property tax, and property insurance. When you're parents of young children, there's extra costs with that as well, with their kids playing sports and etc. Remember, when you're buying a detached home, it's for the long term. When you purchase a detached home, the minimum time you should hold on to the home for is five years. If not, follow Owen's golden holding rule, which is eight to 10 years. When you're buying a detached home, don't factor just your monthly mortgage payments. Factor in what the potential property tax is going to be, property insurance, your monthly bills, and etc. When you're buying a detached home, there are a lot of variables at play like the neighborhood or the area that you choose to live in, the proximity to your work, family, and friends. And third, is it family and kid friendly? If you're worried about these things, don't worry anymore because the video on the side will walk you through the top three areas here in Abbotsford. If you still have any questions, feel free to contact me. My contact information is in the link below. If you found today's content valuable, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm Gary Densa and I'll see you next week.